A blogger named Rhonda Gessner shared a story about her chronically ill sister, aimed at making people more aware of the killer in your French, that you probably didn't even know was there. 16 years ago, the woman became very ill. She suffered from stomach spasms and dealt with excruciating pain, even walking was a chore. Less than a year later, in March 2002, she had undergone several tissue and muscle biopsies. By this time, she was taking 24 prescribed medications. The doctors had no idea what was wrong. She just knew she was dying. That's when she started making plans. She put all of her possession in her oldest daughter's name to ensure that her kids, both young and old, were taken care of, and planned her last hurray to Florida for March 22nd. As Rhonda Gessner writes, three days before her sister embarked on her final adventure, new test results led doctors to believe she had multiple sclerosis. MS. As she told her sister the news over the phone, Rhonda remembered an article she was sent by a friend. She asked her sister if she drank diet soda. Oddly enough, she was just getting ready to crack one open that moment. When her sister replied positively, Rhonda told her to stop drinking it immediately. My sister called me within 32 hours after our phone conversation and told me she had stopped drinking the diet soda and she could walk. The muscle spasms went away. She said she didn't feel 100% but, she sure felt a lot better. In a nutshell, she was being poisoned by the aspartame in the diet soda and literally dying a slow and miserable death. When she got to Florida March 22nd, all she had to take was one pill, and that was a pill for the aspartame poisoning. She is well on her way to a complete recovery, and she is walking. No wheelchair. This article saved her life. If it says sugar-free on the label, do not even think about it, warns Rhonda. We will explain why aspartame is so dangerous. When the temperature of this sweetener exceeds 86 degrees Fahrenheit, the wood alcohol in aspartame converts to formaldehyde and then to formic acid which in turn causes metabolic acidosis. Formic acid is the poison found in the sting of fire ants. The methanol toxicity mimics, among other conditions, multiple sclerosis and systemic lupus. Many people were being diagnosed in error. Although multiple sclerosis is not a death sentence, methanol toxicity is. Systemic lupus has become almost as rampant as multiple sclerosis especially with Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi drinkers. The victim usually does not know that the aspartame is the culprit. He or she continues its use, irritating the lupus to such a degree that it may become a life-threatening condition. Patients with systemic lupus become asymptotic once taken off diet sodas. Stop drinking diet sodas and be alert for aspartame on food labels. Many products are fortified with it. This is a serious problem. Dr. Aspart, one of my speakers, Remarked that so many people seem to be symptomatic for MS and during his recent visit to a hospice. A nurse stated that six of her friends, who were heavy diet coke addicts, had all been diagnosed with MS. This is beyond coincidence. Diet soda is not a diet product. It is a chemically altered, multiple sodium, salt, and aspartame containing product that actually makes you crave carbohydrates. It is far more likely to make you gain weight. In cases of those diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, most of the symptoms disappear. Also, there are many cases where vision loss returned and hearing loss improved markedly. Many products we use every day contain this chemical, but we should not store it in our body.